son. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. All right, here we go. Sex deal goes sour. A man was reportedly robbed and shot by a prostitute in St. James after he was involved in the dispute with her about how much she should be paid. The man, 40, agreed to meet at a guest house where he reportedly offered the prostitute $5,000. Oh, my goodness. That must have been some prostitute. It is not clear whether the woman had already provided her services, but the Weekend Star understands that she deemed the money to be insufficient. Well, he must have been horrific if five grand ain't enough. An argument ensued and the purchaser reportedly asked to be given back his money. Well-placed sources said... Uh, what the, what does that mean? That he left the room and was on the balcony with his back to the prostitute when he heard a click. He reportedly turned around and saw the prostitute with a gun, which was pointed at him. That's not good. Oops. The prostitute allegedly opened gunfire at her client, hitting him in both thighs, so she's a terrible shot. Needs to do some time at the range. She then reportedly ran from the scene, taking with her $85,000, which she allegedly, allegedly took from the man's pants pocket. The corporate communications unit of the police force last night said that an investigation into the matter has been launched, but did not say whether a suspect had been identified. The injured man has been hospitalized. Okay, big lesson. Do not carry $85,000 in your pot pants pockets when you're going to get a little nookie from a prostitute. All right, let's move on to the next story, shall we? Police find cash hidden between Bolsonaro, Bolsonaro allies' buttocks. Brazilian Senator Chico Rodrigues is caught with notes during a search of his own. Ayer Bolsonaro's efforts to portray himself as an anti-corruption crusader have suffered another blow <laughs> after police reportedly seized a wad of banknotes from between the clinched buttocks of one of his allies. Chico Rodrigues, the Brazilian president's deputy leader in the Senate, was reportedly caught with a concealed bundle on Wednesday during a police search of his home. The raid was part of an operation against the suspected misappropriation of public funds for fighting the deadly thing. Okay, the paper said two sources told that 30,000 reals, more than 4,000 pounds, were stashed in the underpants of Rodrigues. To give you a sense of just how preposterous the situation was, some of the notes were stained with feces. You get. It was a scene of considerable embarrassment. Yeah, I guess. So, yeah, I mean, I'll put the links in the description. You can follow up on these stories. But Rodrigues offered no immediate explanation for the contents of his underwear but denied wrongdoing, just like every politician denies wrongdoing oh, yeah. every time, hinting that rivals were trying to sully his name. Of course, I have a clean background, but not a clean bum ground, apparently, if you got feces on your bills, and a respectable life. I've never been involved in any kind of scandal. Well, the 69-year-old ins insisted. Yeah, well, that, that tells me right there he's been involved in many different scandals. <laughs> I don't believe there's any corruption in my government. That means there's a whole bunch of corruption in his government. Uh, after he said he didn't believe there's any corruption, he said threatening to deliver a flying kick to the neck of any swindling politician. Of course, that's the standard punishment. 
for any corruption in government, a flying kick to the neck. All right, with that, let's move on to our next story, shall we? All right, a reptile lover's cat cornered a snake under a car in Sanford Valley near Brisbane, Australia. She went to rescue the carpet python, but it quickly turned on her. Police had to be called to uncoil the animal, which was wrapped around her leg. A brave reptile lover who tried to rescue a roast snake from under a car was forced to dial triple zero for help when the python coiled itself around her leg. Queensland police were called to a home at Sanford Valley, northwest of Brisbane, after the woman became entangled with two with the two to three meter long carpet python. The woman had been working in her garage on October 6 when she noticed her cat had cornered the snake under a car. Good thing it didn't find the cat instead of her. The self-confessed snake lover went to rescue the wild reptile from being attacked, but it quickly turned on her. The carpet python wrapped its tail around the woman's leg and constricted prompting her to call emergency services to help remove the python. She tried to pull the creature off, but it soon became clear it was not keen on letting go. Footage taken by the police shows the woman standing outside her garage with the snake coiled around her leg. The snake is still wrapped around her leg. We're going to attempt removal, a female officer can be heard saying. There's the snake coiled around her leg right there. Hmm. This looks like uh, kind of an inconvenient thing. And there they are, uncoiling it. All right. Well, again, I'll put this link in the description. You can follow up to get the real inside details. And finally, this happened. Manhole explosion sends Chinese boy flying into the air after he throws a firecracker inside. It had to be more than a firecracker. A manhole explosion sent a boy flying into the air after he threw a firecracker inside northwestern China. That must have been one heck of a firecracker. All right. Anyway, I guess he had a skull to his face, but he was not seriously injured. Let's let's watch this, shall we? <laughs> There he is, on the manhole cover. Whoa! <laughs> All right, once more. There he is, lighting a firecracker, putting in a manhole. And kablooey! See ya! All right, that's going to do it for today's edition of the Aimless News. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share this video far and wide. Because remember, the aimless news must be told. <laughs>